हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू वेडिंग सर्ज क्लिनिक्स आई एम डॉक्टर गुंजन देसाई आई एम अ गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टिनल लिवर एंड पेंक्रेटिक सर्जन एट लीलावती हॉस्पिटल मुंबई टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग ट्रायल दैट हैज कम अप रिसेंटली इन द एस्को 2024 मीटिंग एंड दिस इज रिगार्डिंग द पेशेंट्स हु आर अनरिजेक्टेबल कोलोरेक्टल लिवर मेटास्टेसिस सो सो फार द ओनली ट्रीटमेंट फॉर देम हैज बीन chemotherapy where we keep on giving them first line second line third line and we go on to fourth line even fifth line that came up few years back and we have seen responses with these therapies but can we achieve cure in these patients the newest skill in the block is liver transplantation but for patients who progress on chemotherapy as of now the options are limited and even liver transplantation is not offered so in these lines the trial that came up is by the name transmet okay it is a liver transplantation and chemotherapy versus chemotherapy but of course that arm is not chemotherapy alone even though the title mentions it as chemotherapy alone the patients have undergone local therapies in that group also whenever we see these trials the most important is the eligibility criteria so if you take the patients very carefully and only then subject them to these options then you can get good outcomes okay so for transmet trial remember that these trials have been done in centers with a high volume of experience okay and these are the teams which have the largest volume of managing these cases so whenever you are implementing the results also look at your own center your own resources the experience of your team and then apply these criteria also based on demography finance the cost constraints that are associated with these therapies and then apply that in your practice so that is what comprises a uh, evidence based practice that you combine experience evidence and then the individual patient specific scenario and then apply the findings of the trial so in transmet trial the patient should be less than 65 years of age with good performance status ecog 0 or 1 unresectability of liver has to be confirmed and the patient should not have any extra hepatic disease the primary should have been resected these patients should have at least a partial response or stable disease on chemo with less than or equal to 3 lines of chemotherapy first line second line third line with duration of therapy at least of 3 months if not more okay BRAF mutated patients are excluded as we know BRAF mutations by itself portend a poor prognosis in these patients the CEA should be less than 80 okay or there should be a 50% decrease from the baseline and they should have good platelet count and white blood cell count. so once we know the eligibility criteria how the study went and what are the results of the transmet trial where they randomized around 47 patients in both groups there is one group which is chemotherapy alone and there is one group which is chemotherapy followed by liver transplantation as the intention okay out of these only 38 patients could undergo liver transplant after chemotherapy remember that this is a high volume center these are multiple centers which are high volume okay and even then the patient who met the eligibility criteria in 5 years this 2016 to 21 data only 157 patients were submitted to the committee of the trial and they also excluded 40% of these patients okay so you have to understand that the eligibility criteria is very stringent and you are not going to see these patients routinely so 63 patients out of 157 that were submitted were ineligible and this was because probably they had received more chemo which was 5 tumor progression in 36 and not unresectable so when you submit patients to high volume centers you may see that if you have been told that the disease is unresectable at a center the other center may say that the disease is resectable this discrepancy was seen in 13 cases in these centers okay so out of the 47 that were assigned to liver transplant group only 38 underwent liver transplant 
in these patients there were a median number of around 20 liver tumors at diagnosis remember that the primary needs to be rejected maximum diameter was around 5 centimeters like i said 38 patients underwent liver transplant out of 47 whereas nine patients in the chemo plus liver transplant group had tumor progression during the chemo and hence they were not subjected to liver transplant out of the patients who underwent transplant that is 38 out of the 157 remember three had to be retransplanted and one case fatality was noted okay however when you compare the two groups the survival advantage and the progression free survival in this trial okay though the number is small is 57 percent in chemotherapy plus liver transplant arm at five years versus 13 percent at chemotherapy alone arm okay and the progression free survival median was 17.4 months in the liver transplant plus chemotherapy arm versus only six and a half months in chemotherapy alone arm okay so definitely liver transplant has helped but like i said high volume center they may be seeing roughly around thousand patients in five years if not more they could take only hundred patients in this study so we are looking at only around one percent of our patients meeting the criteria of the transmit trial also important to remember is that even in the transplanted patients 74 percent had recurrences okay so it is not that liver transplant going to cure the disease 74 percent of the patients were transplanted that means that nearly 30 of 38 had recurrences and only 40 percent of them became disease free okay so out of 157 only 38 or maybe 70 roughly if you don't compare the two arms will receive a transplant and out of them only 40 percent so roughly 30 out of 157 who meet these criteria will finally benefit from a liver transplant okay so a very good trial very stringently designed strict inclusion criteria tough to find these patients in actual practice because unrejectable tumors usually the cea is very high unless they are non-secretors and they don't do so well they are not ecog 0 or 1 as per our experience and meeting these criteria is tough but if your patient meets this criteria then transmit trial is worth reading and worth implementing as well if the patient meets the criteria thank you